You met him when he got out of prison. I met him in, in Geneva at the World Council of Churches. His first public outing uh, was to Switzerland and to the churches who had been at the backbone of the anti-apartheid anti struggle, who had stood alongside him when many described him as a terrorist, when many wore T-shirts that said, hang Nelson Mandela, a very different time. And you saw then that this was a man imbued with values and a vision. He gave that to politics, uh, and it's that which is so sorely missing from politics, not just in South Africa, but in our world today. What had prison done to him? I think it had strengthened him, ironically. Mm. This was a man who, after all, had always had focus and discipline. That was the hallmark of his life, had been the hallmark of his life up until then. He, that was amplified in the prison context. But he was always, and we should never forget this, a freedom fighter. You know, he believed and led the armed struggle. But such was the overwhelming power of love in his life, that he knew that part of the discipline and focus of that had to be the capacity to reconcile, had to be the capacity to build bridges. And whenever I met him, in whatever capacity that was, uh, whether it was as a, a lay church person, as a, a cabinet minister, or as, as high commissioner, always there was this sense that he had a profound moral purpose linked with an acute political strategy. You know, he was not, and it's a great mistake to paint him as somehow a, a sort of saintly innocent abroad. He was, he was a politician. He was a politician through and through, an activist. But he had a moral compass, mm. and that compass didn't just guide him and the ANC, because he was part of a cadre. I mean, we're talking about a man who worked alongside Walter Susulu, Oliver Tambo, mm. uh, you know, the, and their wives, uh, Adelaide, All the famous uh, uh, names Winnie, the early, Albertina. Yeah, uh, you know, they were part of a movement that had this focus and discipline, but was rooted in profound values. But is what makes Mr. Mandela different from all of them is this. Would it be fair to say that if Nelson Mandela hadn't existed, the history of South Africa could have been very different in a bad way? I think he played a key role at a critical time. But I don't think that he was in himself bigger than the ANC. He was the product of the ANC, a product of his culture, and he brought to that unique personal qualities. But we really mustn't take this man out of his context. It would not have been possible to have had a peaceful transition in South Africa. Although, don't forget, 10,000 people died after his release. But it wouldn't have been possible to avoid the racial bloodbath that all feared, uh, had it not been for a movement, the ANC, that embraced the path of reconciliation and made enormous sacrifices economically for it, because the black man in South Africa today is still grossly disadvantaged as compared to uh, the white. Uh, and there is still a way to go before Nelson Mandela's dream and aspiration for a rainbow nation in which the Freedom Charter is embedded, is achieved. But Mandela was the one black leader of all the ones that you've mentioned that had an authority and a cut-through with the Africaner and the uh, other white South African community. The other ANC leaders did not have that. Mr. de Klerk, uh, and I spoke to him uh, in 1993 or 94, I think it was, he said he really couldn't have done it other than with Mandela. Mr. de Klerk was intimately involved in those mm. negotiations. There's no doubt that the two men did develop 
a, a very strong relationship. And in politics, as you know, and as mm. we all know, relationships are actually, at the end of the day, very important. Mm. And that relationship between mm. F.W. de Klerk and Nelson Mandela was an important one. But I do say again, Andrew, you know, having lived there, having worked sure. as part of this movement for many years, don't forget Tambo, don't forget Sasulu, don't forget Chris Sani, don't forget uh, Chris Hani, don't forget... We're not, uh, we're not forgetting Joe, any of these, Joe, but Joe it is, uh, because we are, are just all, in the because, aftermath yeah, of Mr. But, but Mandela's they are death, all, though. Because they are all part of a movement. Uh, okay, you've made that point.